welcome back i'm a tomboy this is my reaction channel and today we have on tap what if we didn't have bones so you know it's the the popular what if what if channel uh i always think they have interesting videos so why not react to some i definitely not seen the million videos they always put up but um we're gonna watch some today and we're gonna react to it today and like i said we have on tap what if we didn't have bones so let's get into it now looking to get your beach body into shape ready to lose that excess weight well our new patented diet plan is for you today we're going to get rid of your skeleton you don't need your bones, right? Wow. What would your boneless lifestyle uh -oh. be like? How would you eat without jaw bones? And is your skeleton still evolving? This is what if, and here's what would happen if we didn't have any bones. I would assume we would like the blood. Okay, off. brace yourself. We just got the results in, and we're sorry to report that. You've got a spooky, scary skeleton inside of you. Your skeletal system is made up of bones, tendons, ligaments, and cartilage. It produces blood cells, stores and releases fats and minerals, and, you know, supports the structure of your body. But don't worry, we're gonna take that sucker right out. In fact, we're taking everyone's bones out. Uh -oh. You don't need to thank us. We're just trying to do our part. Want to know something? I'm a bad doctor. <laughs> so, what would your new yeah, boneless we'll life like be problem. like? Well, oh. you wouldn't be able to move, for starters. Have you ever wanted like... <laughs> to spend the whole day in bed? Well, yeah. now you can. Oh. Every day. Don't worry, it's perfectly fine. Just take a breath. That was shady. Just take a deep breath. But not too deeply because without a rib cage, your lungs wouldn't be able to expand. Mm. Without bones, you would need to be hooked up to a ventilator 24 7. Mm. This means you would be subject to more infections because your airways are always open. This would let all sorts of nasty germs in. For example, a common cold would quickly become pneumonia but as long as you eat healthy you should be okay well when I said eat I meant we'd give you a feeding tube to you say. can't chew without your jaw bones you on the bright either. side you wouldn't have any bone related diseases like osteoporosis but plus you'd never have to worry about it. wearing a cast the pros and cons but what if our bones weren't removed? What if we never had them in the first place? Yeah, I would assume your if body we would had evolved it. without bones, yeah. that might mean that we would never have left the ocean and we lived our lives like human jellyfish. Yeah, that's true. See? Maybe we would yeah. evolve to have an exoskeleton. Then we would need to molt and grow bigger exoskeletons well, as we grew. Okay, I'll be honest, that sounds pretty gross, but the good news is, is that you wouldn't have to deal with it for long. Mm. Yeah, your lifespan would decrease significantly since your skeleton provides much needed protection for your organs. Mm. Your brain would be left without its helmet, making your noggin extremely oh, vulnerable. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Our bones do more than we give them credit for. We already know that our bones grow with us as we get older, but did you know that modern life is actually causing our bones to change? For example, feel the back of your head. On the back of your skull is a spike-like feature called the external occipital protuberance. But it wasn't always there. In fact, it used to be so rare that we didn't start investigating it until 1885. So where did it come from? Well, get this, the spike 
is most common in younger people. The reason? Mm -hmm. Technology. The constant use of smartphones and tablets has led to this spike. Wow. Since we're hunched over our devices, it causes strain on our necks. This protuberance helps the skull cope with the extra stress because it spreads the weight over a wider area. So basically, your skeleton is looking out for you. Ah, thanks, right. Bones. But you don't have to worry about it. Chances are that if you're watching this video, you have a skeleton. But that isn't necessarily the case. There's a rare genetic disorder called hypophosphatasia that affects one out of every 100,000 babies. It's a disorder that causes your bones to disappear. What? Patients with this disorder lack an enzyme called alkaline phosphatase. Mm. This causes their bones to be extremely fragile, so they break down easily. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, as of today, doctors are working on special enzyme treatments. These allow the bones to slowly grow back so patients can move again. So, to sum it all up, your bones are extremely important. Without bones in your body, you wouldn't live long at all. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, you should make an effort to take care of that skeleton of yours. Get it? To be honest? That skeleton is a bone down. joke. Like the tibia? Whatever. But with all this talk about short lifespans, what if that mm -hmm. was the norm? Oh, what if video. you went from being a newborn to your deathbed in a day? What if you only lived for 24 hours? Well, that's, that's a story crazy. for another what if. For another what if. Technical difficulties. <laughs> well, that's the end of that video. Very interesting, very interesting very interesting um i'll see y'all later though and i'm glad we have our skeletons because that sounds very very painful <sighs> Ooh, and i'm hope i hope they get that together for people who um have that condition too because that does it sounds very painful in a very long 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 life to live with um that type of that going on um so with that being said like i said i'll see y'all later like comment subscribe if you want to peace 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 let me get these technical difficulties together peace